much different. Look at us. Black and white. Oreo cookie. <laughs> Uh, that's good. That's a lot of. That's a lot of chest. A lot of chest. That's not boobs. Just a lot of chest. <laughs> no boobs here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was one of those loud laughs. I'm gonna have to edit <laughs> out. Ah. <sighs> oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay. We All ready? right. We good? I think so. Okay. I have so much stitching to share today. Wowzers. So much stitching. I don't. Well, I don't. I'll carry. I'll carry us today. Okay. Yeah, I think you've got, you've got lots of knitting today though, right? I do have lots of knitting. Yeah. We just had grandbaby and Ottawa and... Can I post an updated photo? Yeah. Of your, of your yeah. beautiful grandson? Yeah. Okay, well, you'll have to send it to me. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Happy Hello. Thursday, Floss Tube. We are recording on a Wednesday today because I have to get lying. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we are lying. We're lying. Happy Wednesday on a Thursday. This video will go live on Thursday. I'm, I have to go get some fillings done tomorrow morning. That's fun. Yeah. So, we thought we would record today because it's been... Nice. It's been... Three weeks. It has right? been three weeks. I gotta let you know it's now. <laughs> <sighs> My name is Caroline. I am the owner of Evertote. I'm Carrie and I'm the owner of Roxy Flosco. <sighs> we did it. <laughs> we did Introduction. It? We did it. Um yeah, so it's been three weeks. So I had uh we both took a little vacation at the we beginning did. of this month. And I spent some time up at the cottage with the family. And what did you do? Uh, it was peppered with everything, including working. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, well, especially for you, your online stuff, but I ended up having to come in a day here, a day there. Went to Ottawa, saw friends and family. Um, and the grandbaby was here. Yeah. Nice. That was lovely. Nice. Summertime is just the time to do that, right? Have that sort of staycation where you still are kind of involved in your everyday, regular day-to-day, -day, but it's different. Yeah. And then we had the big family gathering on the weekend past, so that was the prep for that and the recovery. <laughs> the prep, the day of, and the and recovery. And the recovery, is, yeah. Turns out to be a four-day ordeal. <laughs> and they were, the, what, well, it was like a few hours or an afternoon, the event? Uh, like an afternoon, early yeah. evening thing. Yeah. Yeah, recovery. All right, well, shall I get started? Absolutely. Unless you wanted to start today. No, you go. Okay, I've got a couple of shop things just to quickly talk about first. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions lately um, from new viewers, uh, new people who are seeing us on Instagram. We both have Instagram accounts. The shop Instagram is at Evertotes and Carrie's is at Roxy.Flosco, maybe? <laughs> I'm sure if you just put Roxy, Roxy Floss, it should pop up. up. But again, uh, our links are in the description box below. Uh, but a lot of people, a lot of people have been buying this chart yeah. from, from our shop. This was the Stitch North 2023, the first of five uh, charts to come, reproduction motifs based on a project that we're working on with Leanne of 1897 Schoolhouse Samplers. Wait, did you see, um, is it Natalia on Instagram? Natalia, did you see her finish paired with the fabric? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to pop in a photo here. Mm -hmm. I know Natalia watches us and I'm, I'm hoping she won't mind that I'm sharing this with you. But in a really brief nutshell, the idea that we envisioned from the beginning was taking five motifs from an original sampler in Leanne's collection that is stunning, but she's taking five of the motifs from this sampler, reproducing them, and then we are, the plan is at the end of this whole project, so like a year from now, we're gonna take those five designs and we're going to piece them together with some quilting cotton uh, and make a nine patch. And 
it, the world is your oyster as to how you choose to finish it. You can turn mm -hmm. it into a project bag, you can turn it into a cushion, you can turn it into a quilt topper, you know, a table topper, anything. It's, it's really, really wide open. And the fact that so many people are stitching it on totally different counts of fabric, yeah. everyone's gonna end up with a different size project in the end anyways. Or they're entirely standalone projects by themselves. Yeah. You could just stitch this and be done with it. Those half inch hexies oh, that Natalia did are just—they're amazing. She did some EPP uh, English paper piecing and choosing, you know, some reproduction fabrics that she's planning on using, incorporating in her finish, and they're stunning. Yeah. Uh, so, the most common questions I'm asked about this project are: first of all, how much fabric do I need for all five? If I buy the kit fabric, is that going to be enough for all five designs? The answer is no. Um, when we kit this up, we sell it. Uh, we suggest an eighth of a yard of fabric per chart. Um, and then the, because the question is, you know, what about dye lots? And I'm going to get a different dye. Well, yeah, you probably are going to get a different dye lot, but that's part of the beauty mm -hmm. of the project. You know, really digging deep into embracing the fact that it's a patchwork project and it's supposed to be patchy and different and, you know, beautifully. Uh, cohesive together but a little bit different I really want to bust out let it go now <laughs> <laughs> just let I it won't. go <laughs> let, let, let it, it go, go of feeling like you have to have the same piece of fabric for all five of the charts yeah try to embrace a little bit of difference because I can tell you this the like I'm stitching mine on a 40 count so this is mine I haven't done a single stitch since the last time I shared it here Mine's a 40 count and I have enough fabric that I've cut off of my eighth of a yard that I can do the next design on. Part two is coming out middle of August. Um, and I will use that other half of that eighth to stitch my second one on. But the way the die hit this eighth of a yard, this half is lighter than the other half. So when I stitch my other design, the fabric's gonna look different anyways which is so cool, right? It's not all gonna look the same anyways. So you don't, need, you don't need to buy <laughs> enough fabric all at the beginning of the project because you may decide after project three that you don't like the third one and you don't wanna stitch it anyways. And maybe you're like, I've done two, that's good, I'm done. So we're just going piece by piece. Second most popular question that I'm asked is, is there enough floss in the first pack to stitch all five designs? The answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> These are not all charted. That's warm and fuzzies. Yeah, well, the, the, that's, the, that's the truth of the right. matter. Um, Leanne is charting these. They're not charted now. I, so I don't, I literally don't know. I have seen the second chart. So I do know for sure that if you purchased the first kit, if you purchased Sing After the Storm, many of the flosses that were used in this one are duplicated and used again for chart two. However, it's a 15 floss chart, like there are 15 flosses in the chart for chart two. And there are not like, and it's, I'll put a hop in a picture of it because Leanne has posted it on Instagram. It's not released yet. It's not gonna be ready till the middle of August, but she's currently getting the design to the printer. There are 15 flosses in it. Um, many of those are repeats from kit one. So we are gonna offer an add-on pack for the new colors. You'll be able to use your leftovers from chart one. For chart two, you will need to add a few additional colors. Third question I'm asked, is there a DMC alternative? Um, the answer is no. Uh, Leanne has not provided a DMC alternative and we do not have a Roxy to DMC conversion list. It's just not, um, we've spoken about it before. It, Carrie doesn't die to try and match DMC. To try and keep an updated list would, would absolutely, uh, it would be a, like a full-time job. And, it really would be. <laughs> and it would just keep changing and because of the subtleties and, and whatnot. But I can tell you this, if you wanna stitch along, you should totally be able to pull floss from your own stash and be creative with it. It is charted for Roxy, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks it amazing. It looks really nice. It looks amazing. Uh, so yeah, part two is coming. 
I think those are the big, biggest questions I'm usually asked. Okay, that's fair. Okay? Yep. So part, part two is coming. It's coming. The other thing that was released while we were away, I have to, I have to stitch this, it's so oh, sweet, is the Tiny Modernist A Stitcher's Heart. So this was a chart that Cheryl of Tiny Modernist released exclusively at Stitch North 2023 this year. And she designed it with the linen is Panettone. So the stitched model is done on a 32 count Panettone with some ladies really pretty floss. Garbage floss. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage floss, garbage linen. And um, so this is now in the shop. It is it is released. It's available for everybody. Uh, and Cheryl does include a DMC alternative in her chart. But again, it's really pretty. So those are the things that have already been released or are an update on uh, this, the Stitch North collaboration with Leanne. We do have a couple more uh, new releases to talk about later today. Our friend Ellen, Maximum Cross Stitch. We have three new charts to tell you about today, um, as well as... <laughs> she's clearly been sitting at home yeah, eating bonbons. Yeah, she's, she's been doing yeah. nothing. <laughs> Waiting, like they're so good. But we'll talk about those in a, in a little bit. Do you want to see some stitching now? Yeah. Oh, I had, I, I had a good stitching vacation. That's awesome. I really did. Uh, so... First of all, I actually have a finish. No way. I do. I do. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> you finished this. I did. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at I have that. a finish. I'm gonna move Ring the bell. Ding 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 ding, 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 ding. That is brilliant. Right? Surprise. I love it. See, I didn't tell you any of this because I wanted you to be surprised. Yep. So this is Carrie's. Can I just see it? Yeah. Doesn't it look good? I love it. Right? Yeah. Is that Colonel Colonel Mustard and Colonel Mustard and Yeah. What? Um you can do it. Uh Bird's the Word. You got it. Yeah. Bird's the Word. I is, love it the on leaves. the red. I have to say I was a little doubtful, but it's awesome. Yeah, right? So this is Carrie's brand new um candy apple linen which is the most perfect red. And then Hannah did a floss conversion. Um, I did bring it. Yay, look at me. So the, these are the, the charts are the 12 days of Christmas from Hands on Design. I have all of them. They've been in my stash since they came out in 2017. I have loved them since then. And the, when Carrie dyed this, I immediately thought that's what I have to there stitch on that linen. And that's why you have a stash. And that's why I have that's why you have a stash. That's right. So yeah, I bought these charts when Kathy and Neil were still in business and I've I've they've just been at the back of my mind ever mm -hmm. since. And wow. I cannot tell you how much I love it. So number one is done. I already that's have amazing. I have some finishing ideas in mind, but I'm gonna do all the stitching first. Okay. So number one is done. So the Again, the linen is candy apple. Mine is on a 32 count. Uh, I think the models might have been done on 28. I can't remember. But two strands of floss over two. And I like it with the two strands. Yeah, because it kind of pops out, yeah, right? It really does. Because you think I about it, it's going to be back on your Christmas tree, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. I think it, yeah. it stands out nicely. So the floss pack is. How neat your floss is. Well, I'm a little bit uh, OCD about okay. making sure it's okay. It's you're not Nicole. No OCD. I mean, but hers is me beautiful. Either. Well, sometimes yours is a little messy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a oh, little you messy. You wait and see. <laughs> Buckle in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, surprise! I have a finish. Amazing. Right? Yeah. So I actually have all my fabric squares. Um, well, I may have asked Daniel to do it for me. I have all my fabric squares ready to go. Nice. So I'm going to start number two this weekend. That's excellent. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. And you know what? Not a lot of stitching in it. Once I actually got down to like really getting after 
Um, I think, where was I? When I went to uh, my little mini retreat, I had half the word done, only that the, the lettering, no mm -hmm. outlining, and I had the bottom, the bottom banner done. And then the entire rest of the stitching, I did in two days. Wow. Yeah. So it was a finish in about two days. What the heck? Can I show the back? Yeah. Okay, each one of those little <laughs> doohickeys, the leave things. Yeah. Yeah? She tied them all off. Well, yeah. No threads carried. No. Huh. Um, yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't like to carry a lot of thread. That's awkward for me. That's because you don't <laughs> flip your work. I don't flip my work. I have a Hearthside Craftworks flip frame mechanism that allows me to flip my work easily and carefully. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I sat like this for like 15 seconds. <laughs> That's okay. I'll get back. You're now. cute, so it's all I right. I will get back from the camera. <laughs> but isn't it good? It's brilliant. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. So there's a little bit more of the in the doves. Um, so you can see that the partridge one, we went with Verd's the word on the leaves, which is a which is as you can see quite a vibrant yellow green, and then the other green starts to come into mm -hmm. the doves more, and we pulled um, Hannah went with artichoke. So doves is going to start to bring in that green Excellent. in complement with the uh, verds the word. Oh yeah, that's a good so choice. So those two greens together, yeah, they really pop. Yeah, and then there's a chart later with uh, the ladies leaping or the ladies dancing. There's ballet yeah. shoes on the ladies dancing, and the pink is the uh, morganite. Is that pink for those? And I yeah. got that morganite on that candy apple. It's gonna be so good. That's good. That's so good. Well, this is getting exciting. Right? I know. See, I told you I had some yeah. good stuff today. Okay. Never more. Okay. Never more. This has been sleeping for a bit. It has been since like last November. I don't mm -hmm. think I've worked on it in ages. And this is, this is one of those conversions that I kind of went way off the rails with. It's not even close to the original, um, other than the bird's going to be, you know, black-ish. So this is Leela Studios, Nevermore. I have, again, one of those charts, I've just loved it forever. But the, the and, and, you know, everybody's got personal taste, personal, personal color likes. For me... I wanted more of a fall feel to the general overall feel of the piece. I'm not really a Halloween stitcher, but I love the, I have to sneeze. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanted to go with more of a fall palette. I did not bring my floss pack down here, so I'll try to pop in a picture of it, but, oh, I love this so much. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we still working? Oh yeah, we're recording. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, wow. oh, so wow. I have completely finished the entire bottom nice. um, and that was a lot well okay um, now I did have no less than five people point out that I've missed a couple of stitches and what? yeah really? yeah I'll, I'll show you thanks gang <laughs> <laughs> no you know what it's fine because I wouldn't have seen them and then I would have had it framed and then it would have really bugged me so I missed two stitches right there you might yeah now you can see them right there two stitches there and then I missed a stitch in one of those crosses shouldn't be a cross it should have a dot a stitch in the middle of it but look at that that was a lot of stitching I know so it doesn't awesome. look like a lot but it was a lot of stitching yeah so I completely finished this band and then um, all of those leaves, those are all now done, and that was it. And that, that took me like four or five days of my vacation. Wow. Can I see it yep. firsthand instead yeah. of Sorry. in the viewfinder? Oh, yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's very nice. So Nice choice. Thank you. The linen is 
this was a re this was a do over because I actually started this once and then I wasn't totally happy with all of my color choices. And then I think we had a big we had a big dye lot change with Morticia, which is I started mm -hmm. the bottom band with Morticia. And then because it was a hand paint that was really, really variegated and I was gonna be selling the floss pack, I didn't love the new dye lot of it combined with the other flosses. It just didn't yeah. work. So I started it over again um, with Vampish is the the dark black 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 purple. Plum Shadow is the gray brown that's in the bottom. Wednesday is the reddish. And then we've got um, Haystack. It's either Anne or Annie, I can't remember, is the orange, um, orangey uh, brown. And then Charlie Brown is the brown. Okay. And that's it, those are the only colors. Yeah, so the that's... crow is gonna be vampish. Okay, the sawtooth is quite true to the pattern. Yes. But yeah, I really like what you've done with it. Right? Yeah. And then um, that's gonna be, mm -hmm. so I've actually, I've actually done, I've talked about where I plan on putting my color choices because I'm not following Leela's symbols at all. I'm, I'm following her chart faithfully, but I'm putting the color where I wanna put it. So I did uh, last. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it is. It is. So the floss pack is really a just a jumping off point because these motifs are so forgiving. You mm -hmm. can put whatever color you wanted anywhere, really. Some people might want to do the the cemetery in plum shadow or vampish. It would work with either. Mm -hmm. um, and really, any of those colors you could put anywhere. So, so are you pre-planning this at all or you're just winging it as whatever mood you're in? No, I do, do have I do have a general plan. Okay. So I did a video last October. I'll put a link to the video below. And and actually in the listing for Nevermore that's on the shop, there is a link to the video okay. in the listing that points you directly to where I talk about where I'm gonna be putting the colors. But I might change my mind when I get to a motif sure. and use a different color. All the colors in the pack look great together, so you can't really go wrong. So that's my Nevermore. Very cool. I thought so. Do you want to show something now? Do you want to I'm take a sure. turn? I can take a turn. So um, I've only actually worked on two things over the last three weeks. Um, when we were in Edmonton, I went a little ham on my... Um, it's called Cosmic, Cosmic, Cosmic Mermaid, Mermaid uh, Primitive Hair, and I really love her. And then, I don't know. Face floss? I don't know what the heck I was thinking. So I think I'm chomping at the bits. Like I, I was channeling the Mirabilia. I wanted to do one over one. But then, after I spent many hours doing one over <laughs> one, I realized that um, and it's right in the title. It's too primitive for one over one. Just it didn't. The feel wasn't right. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's, it's primitive. So, yeah. anyways, I unpicked all the one over one. Oh boy. And then re oh, redid it. Oh, that looks amazing. So, um, reminder: I don't flip my work. <laughs> <laughs> so all the rogue uh, end threads. Um, so I did a lot of that tail in yeah, Edmonton, in Edmonton, and then I started uh, laid down the outline of her body, and then where I left it over here, oh. it's because her hair is going to be coming down there. So pretty much I've laid the groundwork for her body, and then I've started with the face, which is really good. I really like that shading. It's on beautiful. It. Oh, Luna. Oh, she passing wind. Yeah, sorry nice. about that. Daniel says she's parked an umbrella. Parked an umbrella. <laughs> That's good. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, and I just need to take a little break from it. So it's that's what beautiful. I did, and I will go back to it. So, um, okay, so a couple of things, because yeah. we are always asked um, why Carrie's threads are all in the front. Oh, yeah. So Carrie doesn't flip her work. So she, um, she does a pin stitch, she comes, she starts her work from the front, yeah. does a pin stitch where she's starting, and then carries on in stitches. And then when she's done, she does a pin stitch, and then 
takes the thread out to the back. side and leaves it out to the side. And then at some point will at get some covered point over. will it'll get covered over and then she will clip them all off. Yeah. That's why. And what's your fabric? Um uh lock, L O C H by Picture This Plus. It was in my stash and do you know what count? Sure do. 32. Thank you. 32 counts by looking at it. Oh, right, right. Bionic got it. <laughs> and then, um, and I don't know why I don't have the floss. <laughs> why I don't have the floss? Because my crafting life is just like <laughs> that. Um, I don't know where the floss is, but it's uh, conversion, uh, Roxy con conversion um, of some various colors. If you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. That's it. You know what? I actually have to say that I believe for the three tones in the skin, I think I did DMC. Maybe. I could be lying. Wait a and minute. if I had the floss with me, I could verify that. But Wait a minute. I could be wrong. You dyed three huge hanks of floss and you didn't end up using any of it? Um, you went and you used the DMC. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. So Carrie, we carry Oh, we're recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Carrie dyed all that floss. Yeah. But then uh, actually you probably didn't have either a Swift or a Nitty Knot at home. I don't. No, it's they're all, all here. here. Yeah. So she just went ahead and used DMC anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they are like very very close and um, They're complementary absolutely to the colors she dyed. So there you go. So you yeah. dyed all that floss. So you're going to be seeing some face floss coming to Evertote soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. So, you're doing sorry a great about that, job, folks. Half of my craft, no, 95% of my crafting life is in this building. <laughs> and when I'm at home and I'm in the mood to do something, I just have to do it. She MacGyver's it. it. I have to make it work. Yep. It's great. Looks beautiful. Well Thank done. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, looking good. So that's that. <sighs> so I um, I am hosting a stitch along. I'm not doing a very good job at hosting the stitch along. You know, there wasn't really much of a group or lots of people following along. So it's kind of my own thing, and I'm just encouraging everyone else who's stitching to enjoy it's stitching. It's a micro sal. It's a micro sal. <laughs> Um, but my goal, this is the friendship sampler from Maximum Cross Stitch, our friend Ellen. And uh, my goal is to finish this. I'm doing the small version. I'm doing the small version of the, the chart. There's a big one, and then there's a small version. The small version is only available as a PDF from Ellen's shop, but it uses all the same floss as the large version. And this is the August 1st finish? I need to finish <laughs> this by the end of August. Oh, okay. I have until the end of August my own personal goal that I want it to be done because come September 1, we are starting the Sampler September Stitch and Knit Along. September's Revenge. These are now almost fully shipped. We still have, we still have a few more that have not gone out the door yet, but also um, we we're able to make some more of the purple bag sets. So if you were interested in the purple bag sets and they were sold out when you went looking, we have restocked the full kits with the purple bag sets. Um, I don't have an example down here. They're all upstairs. But the uh, the full kit comes with the sock yarn because there's going to be a self-striping sock yarn that goes along with the kit. It was dyed by Timber Yarns. It's an entirely Canadian project. Canadian yarn dyer, Canadian designer, Canadian floss dyer, and linen, Canadian bag maker, and stitch along host. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna be leading the stitch along over on um, my Off the Grid Needle Arts channel. And so this is coming, September 1. That's exciting. September 1, I can't wait. But I really, really want to have my goal of my friendship sampler done. How's it coming? Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready because I spent one entire week. Wow. One entire vacation week yeah. where I did nothing else in my crafting time except no way. Yeah. Check it out. Wow. Ta-da! 
That. Look at that. Is progress. Right? So guess what? The bottom of the sampler is maybe here. Wow. Yep. This is, this is halfway. Okay. And this is all done. Completely nice. finished. And I've, and the house and the border are the biggies. Yeah. Right? And I've got, my house is well and truly underway. Because uh, once you get the brick lay, the brickwork laid out and the windows, it's all fill in. And I don't know if you can see, but most of the second row of my windows are stitched. Yeah. There. So I just have to fill it in and finish the house. And yeah. So I'm, I'm totally going to be done. I am going to be done at the yeah. end of August. Yeah, you are. See? <sighs> So this is a 40 count porcelain linen, Roxy Flasco porcelain linen, and all of the called for Roxy Flasco flosses. I couldn't love it more. Did, it's fantastic. And did you notice there's a little Roxy there? I did. That's Carrie's bird. Yeah. That's Roxy. I love it. And the version that I'm going to be stitching, Ellen very sweetly charted two little dogs in the corners. So I'm going to have Luna in one corner and I'm going to have my golden who passed away a few years ago, Daria, um, in the other corner. It's so. really good, Caroline. Thanks. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah, you really, even my family that. noticed. Yeah. Even my family no and they noticed nothing. <laughs> like they literally noticed nothing. And even Sarah's like, wow, mom, you've gotten a lot done. John was like, yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm like, who knew? Thanks, family. Who knew you were paying attention? So yeah, that was really fun. Amazing. Now, this is totally so wrinkled. So apologies. And and I, I meant to try and get more done on this, but then I really went in for my uh, friendship sampler. Yeah. This is the one of the new Jacob charts. When this you see, remember me. And it uses the brand new Ferranda floss especially dyed by Carrie um, and now I just your nail polish really nice thank right? you <laughs> thank you <laughs> just saying well also I I should show you um, I'll talk about my knitting later when you talk about your knitting so do you remember I showed you this last week three weeks ago because mm -hmm. you had started this and, and I'm like uh, oh man like I cut my fabric wrong right remember I said yeah, that I, cut, yeah. I didn't cut my fabric wrong I oh, started yeah. it the wrong way up Oh, all right. I should have stitched it this way. Yeah. Because if I'd stitched it that way, I cut it perfectly. But because I'm a gonzo who was using, you know, <laughs> the Q snap and it was all fitted, I didn't see my salvage and I forgot that I had an extra inch one way. Mm. It's going to be fine. It'll fit no problem. It's just annoying. So my, so there it is. This is 40 count, one strand over two. And... I love it. So my goal for this project is to have this finished by the time Jacob comes to Canada mm -hmm. in October. Yeah. And Jacob, um, so we're hosting a retreat. Jacob Palooza, he is coming to Canada at the uh, beginning of October, two weekends. I we feel still like have... really generous. We're not hosting a retreat. You're hosting a <laughs> retreat. I'm showing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Carrie has a lot of work to do yeah. dyeing <laughs> all of the stuff that we need. Um, because we're going to be working on some amazing projects. Um, so if you're interested in joining us, if you've never heard that Modern Folk Embroidery is coming to Canada, um, send us an email and we'll, we'll also there's a, there'll be a link in the description box below. We still have spots for both weekends. It's going to be amazing. He's going to teach us how to do the hem stitch as part of the, you know, there's going to be, he's going to give a chat on his, the reproduction sampler that he's doing for the weekend as well as you know just all around like it's gonna be amazing we're gonna learn how to do the hem stitch i want to have this piece done so that i can do the hem stitch on this okay yeah 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 because he does hem stitch on all his stuff and it always looks so good it does right it does yeah so that's what i want to nice. do for that yeah i think that's gonna be really good yeah, I can't believe I started that. I, and I know I showed it. And I was like, oh, I cut my fabric around. No, I didn't. It was, I started it the wrong way up. Okay, I have 
one more thing to show. I have one show thing. yours. Yep. So, uh, I guess I'm on a little bit of a primitive hair kick. Oh, but look at that! I'm doing this for um, the baby's nursery, which seems a little fringe. It's a nursery thing. Okay. Because it's his middle name. Oh! Yeah. So, um... That's our, beautiful. Yeah, our new grandson's middle name is Corvus, which is Latin for raven. Oh. And so I'm doing this uh, chart, primitive hair again, called the raven. And uh, yeah, so it seems like it might be a little fringe for nursery, but that's, that's what I'm doing. That's but it's so meaningful. I love yeah. that. Yeah, and I, I love actually, that. I showed it to Alyssa and ran it past her to say, Oh, I love do that. Do you think, like, would you like this? Because yeah. obviously it's a slow sport and I'm not going to do it. And it's a she gets into village, sport. value village, right? <laughs> so, um, I think I this. I just, yeah. I have, I have to show you the back of the, look at these yeah. three, look at the three charts in this series. Those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Those are gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome funny. to Floss Dude. <laughs> Those are beautiful. Yes, I, I really like them. Love. And there's a number. In I the, love the hair. I think there's a fox. And oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's a whole. It's a whole thing. So those are spirits of the wood. Yeah. Primitive hair. Now that's printed fabric that she does it on. Obviously. Yes. I didn't have that in my yeah. disposal, and uh, so I'm not doing it on that. But I am doing it on <gasps> something else. Oh. Uh, this. Um, I don't know if this is the Irish linen that I bought in Edmonton. I don't think I would have done that because I think I had that earmarked for another project. I'm thinking this is just something that I had, like it's just raw. It's um, yeah, I don't recognize it. Yeah, it's undyed. Yeah, I think it's yeah. just Weigart raw. Yeah, raw linen. And again, because I started this on a Sunday night or something like that, it's just, I mean, look at my floss. <laughs> I don't even have a tag for this. It's just sitting on the ring. <laughs> and we can all thank Beatrice for that. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the color that I need, yeah. but I did go with um, the called for Beatrice is one of Carrie's birds that got into the into her into stash her because her, her cage door was left yeah. open. Couldn't find any floss rings, so I've got DMC hanging on my tags. <laughs> um, this is obviously was earmarked for a project that I was doing loop start method. So that's that's how I roll. Okay, so if you're looking for a conversion list for this chart, don't ask Carrie. <laughs> no, it is it is the call for. I just happen to have the call for. Like this is a, um, but a week's is, dye work. But this is actually obsidian. Right, because it was pretty close to the one over dye floss that I didn't have by Weeks Dye Works right, or something. Okay. But this is actually Weeks Dye Works that Beatrice got into. Oh, okay. And so that's why it's hanging off there. I don't know what color it is because she ate the tag. But that's really funny. Well, okay. Yeah. And it's got, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's not that funny when you're trying to pull shit for a, <laughs> for a project. Just just being honest. Yeah. <laughs> I like the color so, palette. Yeah, it's really and pretty. my concern with trying to pull together a conversion is that these colors are so subtle. Yeah. That I didn't want to start losing. Yeah. Losing that in yeah. a conversion. So, that's the backstory. I think this is a 36 or, well, yeah, it must be a 36. I'm doing it with over uh, one thread over two. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm at. Oh, look at that. It looks great. I really like it. So it is full coverage. Yeah. Which I don't know why I didn't see that when I started it. It's like, <laughs> damn, this is full coverage. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's starting to look like a bird. It's a lot of stitching. That's okay. So I'm going to, I don't know. Maybe for Christmas or... I don't know. Oh, and of course, my hack job. At least like, you use I, pinking shears. Yeah. It'll be fine. It's, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> that hack job. 
Yeah. When you want to start, you want to start, I, yeah, right? There's no pre-planning. Anyways. It looks really good. I love yeah. that chart. Yeah, it's good. New start. I like the size of it. I think it was meant to be on like a 20, it's on 30 count. Oh, primitive hair linen. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a bit smaller than what it should be in my mind. Yeah, but that's just, that's, um, what do you call it? Prog, your prerogative, right? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. That's expensive to frame. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. So yeah, two primitive hairs for you. Mm -hmm. So I had a new start just nice, this morning. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my new start, but I'm also going to hopefully, um, at the end of this video, put in a photo of um, my stitching that I'm going to continue on this evening. Mm. Um, because I don't have to load this video until tomorrow. I'm hoping to show a little bit more progress on this because I have finally Finally started we've all like all the ducks are finally in a row for me to start My Jan Hicks creates palace of the winds in blue it's gonna be so Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, so good. It's a really lovely chart. Yeah, so the, we we brought in these charts, two two Jan Hicks charts. This one and Antonia Puero, Pueo, yeah. and Antonia Pueo, 1913. Two beautiful charts. This is Carrie's one that, still finalizing her yeah, colors. I just can't get it right. We think the face floss is going to end up in this one. Yeah. Because I really want to stay true to this, the yeah. original version. I mean, I love what Jan's done, but this is what really got me. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So we've, and, and I brought this one in for me because, so that one was kind of for Carrie and this one was for me because I wanted to do it in blues. Face floss. Face floss. <laughs> the face floss is going in that one. Yeah. Um, and so I brought in, we brought in a lot of extra charts to put in the shop because I knew eventually once I was going to have it right then we would we would sell it so uh, it's taken it's taken until now but i think we've got it mm -hmm. so and we have gwyneth to thank for our blues because gwyneth our friend gwyneth who was stitching um and you can find gwyneth on instagram she has a, she has a lovely instagram account curling stones and x stitches i'll put it up here on the screen um she was stitching, she is stitching the 2023 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along uh, Reaching, Reaching Skyward yeah. with powdered up and Great Gwyneth. Lakes. No, oh. it, the dark dark blue was Great Lakes. Oh, I think. okay. I think, I can't remember, but it's on her, it's on her page. But powdered up wasn't quite dark enough as a contrast for her and she wanted something a little darker. So this is powdered up. It's a hand paint, so it's a it's it's more variegated. Um, it might be difficult to pick up. Uh, there you go. So she wanted one that was a little darker and less variegated. So we have a new floss now called Gwyneth. Mm -hmm. It's been in the shop for a little while, and it is a darker version of Powdered Up, a little less variegation. Well, what I wanted was. I wanted that as kind of my jumping off point for my blues. That was the exact blue tone that I wanted for this piece. So I asked Carrie to make me a super dark, angry Gwyneth. <laughs> so she did it. It's beautiful. And um, we have a new packing and shipping um, guru here at Evertoad. His name is Robert. He's been working here for a little while. And on his very first day of work was the day that Carrie came upstairs from the basement with dark, angry Gwyneth. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Robert, I said, hey, we've got this new floss and we really like puns here at Evertote. What do you think? What do you think? Look at this floss and what do you think? What do you think about a name? And without missing a beat, yep. Robert said, blue in the face. Yeah. And we said, you're hired. <laughs> <laughs> so dark, angry Gwyneth has been now, is now known as blue in the face. New floss, new, new floss. It will be listed uh, later today. So by the time this video is up, it's in the shop. 
So that's blue in the face. This is powdered up. And then I said, okay, Jan, Jan's piece is a study in variegation. So I want to use a more heavily variegated floss with these two. Because I'm actually, um, I'm not using the floss called Gwyneth. I wanted to use powdered up because I want to have the light, the dark, and then one in between. So I asked you, I said, can you give me a really heavily, heavily variegated version? And I said, yes, I can. Yes. And she said, yes, I, why, yes, I can. That goes in between powdered up and blue in the face. Ta-da! It's gorgeous. So there it is. And because of Gwyneth, in honor of Gwyneth, the name of this floss is called Rock On. Now I know, Ellen is the <laughs> rock star, right? But Gwyneth is a curler. So it's called Rock On in honor of Gwyneth's curling. So we have blue in the face, Rock On, and Powdered Up. Those are the three colors that I'm going with for my version of Palace of the Winds. Now, are you ready for my totally underwhelming start? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Can Wait, you see it? Is it a needle minder or a start? <laughs> my needle minder is bigger than my start. There it is. So don't forget, I'm going to do a little bit more stitching and then I'll put in a photo at the end. So I've only used two flosses. I've used Powdered Up and I've used Rock On. So my, my variegated in the middle and then the lightest color there. I, I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be so good. Yeah. I think it's going to be gorgeous. And I am stitching it on one of my favorite counts, 46 count. So it's going to be tiny and it's going to be perfect. Now even, this chart is actually bigger than I thought it was. Well, it looks kind of I big. didn't think this chart was all that big. I really didn't. I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that's not that big. It's not going to take me that long. This chart is big. That's going to take you forever. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get your cat hair on me? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. Yep. That's funny. That was like, I want to call them Phineas and Ferb. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. 46 count be. porcelain. 46 count porcelain linen so that the blue and the variegation can really just be the star of the show. Mm -hmm. Porcelain is my favorite go-to linen of yours when I want the floss to be a highlight, yeah. but on a really beautiful, still subtly um, dyed linen. Yeah, without the starkness of yeah, the white. Yeah, exactly. I love it. And I, I just, I, I am so excited about this. Yeah, yeah it's, <sighs> yeah. yeah, I'm excited about this one too. It's gonna be good. I love this so much. Good job, Jan. Jan, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah. And she's so nice. She is really she's nice. so nice. She's actually she's coming to Jacob Palooza. Oh fun, yeah, Jan's fun, fun. coming I think to Jacob. That, but... I think she's coming to the second weekend. I think. I'm really okay. excited to meet her in person. So I think I yeah. yeah. And so maybe I'll have quite a bit of this done by the time she comes. I should probably get that rolling. You should. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. And then we could get her to sign our charts. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So yeah, the only other thing we, we, I would like to talk about would be Ellen's new charts. Yeah, definitely. Now, these are going to be released um, tomorrow, which is going to be your today, by 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. These are Ellen's newest charts, and I don't actually have... Uh, these are going to be... We're ordering the print charts today. So I don't have I don't have proper photos yet from Ellen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna post the photos that Ellen sent to me just to show me what they look like because they're so great. So the the first one we've got is the first one that she designed was a bear and the I actually do I have these in the right order? Doesn't it doesn't matter. The one I'm gonna tell you about first it's a bear stealing a a, a beehive. What do you call that? A bee scap? It's not. Is that a bee scap? It's it's stealing I the bees. So. The bear is stealing the bees. The bees are the honey. Well, the honey, the the honeycomb. Okay. Right. Yep. See that? Yeah. 
And look at the little bumblebee in there. Yeah. And look at all the little bumblebees in I the know. thing. I mean, it's it's so sweet. Yeah. And then there's the the birds stealing the pumpkins. Yeah. I like that. I love that. And then the last one is the monkey mm. stealing the pineapple. And the colors in these are so beautiful. They really are. Like Ellen, I don't know, Ellen can take the Roxy Flosco flosses and just, she she knows how to put them together to their best advantage. I just love those color palettes that mm -hmm. she's put together. And look at that border on that monkey. Yeah. That is just so beautiful. I really like Ellen's charts because there's something for everyone. Like there's a little bit of geometric happening. There's yeah. a little bit of like a feel of nostalgia and then just the whimsy of them all is yeah. amazing. I think that's a great, I think that's a great description of it. And then of course the color palettes are out of this world. It's so pretty. She's so creative. I love it. Yeah. And look at that flower in the middle of the, of the bird chart, yeah. right? This is so good. I have to yeah, stitch really the good. bear. And I like that they all have kind of a common theme Definitely. across the three of them, right? And they would actually really look nice with the September sampler as well. Oh yeah. They it's all they all yeah. look good together. Yeah. Because I mean look at the large flowers in there, right? Yeah. You're mirroring those kind of in the in yes. the look and the, yeah, because there you actually go. she did take that's right, now I remember. Yeah. She there took that. That's all the it's penny all coming dropped. together now. The penny dropped. She did take and now I can't see anything. Hang on. <laughs> she took that from the bird stealing the pumpkin on yeah. September's Revenge. That's actually where the whole idea for all of them came from, was that original one. So you're right, they do all go together. They all work together. It would be a beautiful collage on your wall. <sighs> yeah. So good. So I hope to have one of those started in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ellen's done it again. She sure has. Yeah, look at all the stitching we've got. Lots of stitching. Right. Yeah. Do you want to talk a little bit about knitting? Yeah, sure. Um, I had a few finishes. Um, well, I think, well, two of them I had on Instagram, but I finished my, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, oh, my stuff is five feet away from me. <laughs> okay. So I can't remember if I showed this one or not. Oh. I, I think I posted on Instagram, but I didn't post it. Or I didn't oh, show dear. it in life. Oh dear. I too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling away. Okay. So I had posted this on Instagram, but I don't, I can't remember if I showed it in real life. Oh. But um, this is my second uh, DRK everyday sweater. And it's in Mountain Meadows sport weight. Um, not sure what the color is. It's Lint, beautiful. Maybe. I love this yarn it's so much. It's so beautiful. You are so inspiring me to want to knit a sweater this oh, year. Oh, good. We're mm -hmm. going to get you. We're going to get you knitting a sweater. I just, I'm so impressed Thanks. with your sweater knitting ability. Thank you. That's very kind of you. It's gorgeous. So, and then I finished Cedar Sweater, and it was the yarn from my first DRK Everyday Sweater and leftover of this DRK, and I color I'll put in it. a photo. Yeah. Because it is adorable. It's really sweet. It's adorable. And I'm glad I got it to him because I don't know if he'll be wearing it for very long. Because he's, <laughs> he's super long. Yeah. He weighs a lot, but he's super long, and... Uh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Um, I just finished this the other night. Um, obviously I keep my ends to the front as well with knitting. This is a bit of a hot mess in here, but I don't really know if I'm satisfied with how I tack down the collar. So, um, that is so pretty. This is the Friday slipover by Petite Knit and it is done in, I just started nice. following her on Instagram. I love her Scandy oh feel. Gosh. Love it. She's from none of it. No, no, that's uh, Petite Knitter. 
Oh. Yeah, petite knit is Scandinavian. Oh, okay. So Norway, I think. Oh, yeah. well, let me tell you, petite knitter. Oh, she's good too. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Sad Nose Garn, Sad Nose Garn uh, Sunday and mohair and the thin silk mohair held together oh. so it kind of lightened up the, the gray on this. That is so soft and beautiful. So it's like wow. broken rib stitch so it's a lot of knit one pearl one for the entire flipping sweater. Look at that. This is going to look very pretty on you. Um, I love the detail. I love the, the detail. Yeah, and I love how the collar turned out. This was a story about unpicking things because it was Italian bind off and she even specifies that you have to bind off quite tight in the armhole to keep it uh, laying flat. And usually you don't want to do that. Right. So I ended, ended up unpicking it. Okay. I think I joked on Instagram that, oh, I found something worse than <laughs> unpicking one over one in cross stitching. It would be unpicking Italian bind off. With mohair. And with mohair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would have been. So quick please with that. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not gonna say that was quick knit, but all, all my summer knits, this one got done first. Yeah. And obviously it held my interest. Um, I'm super close to this one. Death by one by one. Oh. Rib. That is pretty. Actually, the story of my knitting these days is unpicking things. So <laughs> this was finished. The body was finished, and. Um, I'll be the first to admit. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. my glasses. Oh my god, they protect my eyeballs. It's okay. um, I'll be the first to admit that I am somewhat built like SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> so, but even this, it didn't it's have a lot true. of waist, uh, waist shaping. So I did tear it back quite a bit, and I'm going to do a couple of decreases, and then um, maybe tighten up the bottom row. Oh, okay. I love that. But, collar. I really do love the yoke on this. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm not going to say it was fun, laborious. <laughs> I'm not going to not say it was laborious. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so. what was the pattern again? This is Anchor Tea, again okay. by Petite Knit. Beautiful. I'm quite happy with that. I was a little bit nervous about the sleeve length. I'm usually, I usually do like cap sleeve and these are quite long, but I tried it on the other uh, last night and I really like it. Oh, it's really pretty. So that's that. And then you can tell that this one is not a lot of fun for me because it's just languishing. Oh, but it's so gorgeous. I think it'll be good. You say languishing, but I'm like, I saw uh, yeah. where you were in Edmonton and yeah. that's a lot of progress. Like I did. Because that was only like three weeks ago. So that gray vest yeah. I did in less than four weeks. I know. And I only cast this on at the beginning of so uh, June. That's so that's really I should fast. Yeah. I've done four sweaters yeah. in the last two months. So. <laughs> um, oh, oh, so there's a lot going on that's here. That's so summery and pretty. Yeah, so I've been breaking up the, oh, doing that length Look detail. at how airy and pretty mm -hmm. that is. It'll be good. That's so summery. And it's starting to do the eye cord detail around the... What's the name of the pattern? This is uh, Rocket Tea. Oh yeah, yeah. Tannis Fiber Arts. That's right. Yeah. I've seen this yeah. one done with, with various different colors, but yes. I think your um, white on white is really pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I did this in the um, Knitting for Olive Pure Silk mm. and an undyed mohair from my stash. It's super pretty. Thanks. So that'll be, I got to get this done after I get the death by one by one rib done. Mm. That's a lot of knitting. Yeah. There's a lot of knitting. I'm so slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the number of sweater quantities uh, that I've got in my You want to see slow? Let I, me show you my knitting. So, you know, sampler September sock knitting is coming up. So I've been trying, I'm, I, I need to learn how to do an afterthought heel so that I can, um, well, I've done some. I'm still on the same sock. That's okay. This is my practice sock because I love this yarn um, for, I wanna do an afterthought heel because it's a self-striping yarn and the sampler September yarn is a self-striping yarn 
and I don't want to add a, an accent color, so I need to learn how to do an afterthought heel. Mm -hmm. So I need to finish this sock so that I can learn how to do the afterthought heel before I cast on my Sampler September socks. So I, I have actually, I think since the last time I shared it, I think I've knit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more stripes. That's so, substantial. You know, it counts, it's right? It's knitting up really Consider, nice. Isn't it beautiful? Really Considering like it. I'm not, a, like I don't knit a lot. This, but I love knitting socks. Um, my favorite needles are Signature Needles. This is oh, a little yeah. heads up for anyone who hasn't heard. Signature Needles is uh, closing. They're, they're, um, the, the woman who owns it is retiring. And so if you're a fan of Signature Needles, now's the time to mm -hmm. jump on there and buy those needles. Uh, they're not cheap, but they are so good. They're my favorite. Those and Chow Goes, I really love. Mm -hmm. I'm using um, on my other project, that I'm working on. So these socks, the Sampler September socks, um, Heather, the woman who dyed the yarn, actually knit these samples. They're man-sized, they're huge, but she wanted to use up all the yarn. She included an accent color on the cuff, toe, and heel. The twin sock set that we're selling doesn't come with those colors, so the sample of the stripes is what you're gonna see the sock mm -hmm. turn out to be. But she also dyed a set of 12 mini skeins based on all of these colors. Now, if I didn't make that clear at the beginning, um, her yarn was, di was dyed to be um, a complement to the floss pack. I sent her Carrie's floss pack that was chosen by Ellen for this chart and then Heather of Timber Yarns dyed a self-striping yarn based on those colors. So and she did a great she, job. They're amazing. They're incredible. Yeah. So she also came up with a set of 12 um, mini hanks of all of the individual colors that we're also selling as a set of 12. Now because this wasn't a Sampler September project, I didn't feel one iota of guilt casting on my project. <laughs> so I am knitting the cowl, the same cowl that Heather knit, and with her set of 12 when she sent me the samples. And I cast this on when we were on our way to Edmonton. Yeah. You've done a lot of well. And I, I needed help from Carrie. So Carrie helped me with the, I was, I didn't want to do a provisional cast on. Um, so Carrie helped me do a waste yarn cast on. And then I've knit six entire stripes of my cowl. That's awesome. Right? Yeah. So um, I'm quite a tight knitter. So Carrie convinced me to use a bigger needle size than I'm used to. So it's a little loose to my usual tastes, but I'm trying to, I, I know, yeah. I'm trying to remember as Carrie is reminding me, So I'm going to be doubling it. Yeah. Because the way the cowl works is you, you, you. You're crafting live you, edge to live edge. Yeah, you, you attach the end to the top so that it's a tube. And I don't want to wear like a cuff around my I neck, right? And knitted brace. <laughs> And it did duck brace. So I think that when it's doubled, I think it'll be good. I think it's still gonna have some drape and it's gonna be super pretty. Yeah. So ta da! It's yeah. Good. So I've I've been I've been at, like every dinner time when I'm too tired to stitch late 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 at night, I'll knit a few rounds. So I'm ready to add the next color. Nice. Yeah. And you know it wouldn't be the. I'm end not of the giving world. you back your needle yet. That's fine. Um, it wouldn't be the end of the world if you're really not happy with the fabric. It, it wouldn't be the end of the world to drop down a quarter size. Oh, I couldn't do that. No. I would know it. Okay. I would know it in my head that it was different. But no, I think you're right. When I, when I double it over, yeah. the fabric is going to be quite nice. Yeah. Right? I think so. You won't see any so, light through it at that point. No. And, and it nice will and still have lots of of nice yeah yeah see yeah I think it's, it's yeah. perfect so good good see <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's what I've been up to knitting wise excellent not I can four hardly sweaters wait worth. to start the cowl I'm gonna do a bit of a variation I'm gonna do um, a twisted cowl 
Based on the set of 12. Yes, definitely. And but I think I might even hold mohair with it. Like a taupe, oh. a taupe or a gray, probably oh. a gray. It'll soften it down a bit and I don't know, just for, just Beautiful. to use up stash. Just to use up stash. <laughs> Can I hold it double? Yeah. Then I'm gonna. <laughs> Sounds good. I think that's it. And the battery light's flashing. So, you, you know, it's timing. like meant to be. Excellent. Yeah. This episode, was nice. whatever, nice whatever back. in the books. Uh, 17, I, I think. Okay. 17 or 18, I can't remember. All right. Happy stitching, everybody. Have a great couple of weeks, and we'll see you in a few weeks. Yeah. Take care. Bye, everyone. Happy stitching.